<laughs> Welcome back. It's always a good day when we get mail. Yes, and before we show you what we got, there is a bit of a backstory here. Okay, so the week before Christmas, mm -hmm. I tried to show Diane how to make a pom pom. Remember this? And then I'm going to give you a string. So then you're just going to tie it around like that. Okay. 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 So, I, like, I didn't tie it right. Uh, yeah, look, see what she's doing there? Okay, yep. You're putting it through. I thought it was right, for yeah. the record. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't paying attention and I didn't see where you went wrong, but we just know afterwards that yours look kind of like okay. floppy. Like yes, you gotta and tie it all the way around like that. Ah, and see, thankfully a lot of our viewers said, hey, <laughs> you missed a step, and I totally did. And that's okay, so we learned, but it, it leads into our mail. It does, so uh, Donald Navarre from Bowling Green, he sent us this package, and inside are more boxes. So just but a box for you. Ah, yay! And a box for me. So, Donald, we want to say a huge thank you. Yes. Because he said, hopefully, these pom-pom makers will help with your knitting. <laughs> and I'm thinking, huh? Oh, because I cannot make a good pom-pom. So, like, and I don't know if you could see on the back here, but there's a few different sizes, but literally you just, you wrap the yarn around it and then you cut around. So instead of using your hand, it, it does, it takes all the guesswork out of it. That's good because I'm struggling <laughs> even when you were tried to take the guesswork out of it for me. Donald, but you... I actually met Donald. Yes. Like, you and him are, are buds. Yes, this is great. <laughs> so I met Donald a few months ago when I visited the Nitwits. They get together at Grounds for Thought in Bowling Green. So this is a video of him here. I was talking to him about his baby hat. With the perfect pom-pom With there. the perfect pom-pom. So he, <laughs> he learned how to crochet about three years ago, he said. He just wanted to learn, so he took a class at the Busy Thimble, which is pretty much next door, oh, yes, downtown yes. Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. And so he's been making the baby hats. Uh, for Wood County Hospital, you know, for a few years now That's with awesome. the perfect pom-pom. So he definitely knows his stuff. And I thought he, um, also <laughs> him and his wife are both in the group. Yes. But he's the lone wolf. He's the only the man in, in that group. And it's a big group of knitters and crocheters. So um, thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you so An much. An answer we, to we, my troubles. Yes, we really appreciate it. We will get a lot of use out of these. Yes. Sure. Yeah. So we also talked before the break about mm -hmm. a lot of local gifts that our yeah. stores are doing. And also we wanted to ask you at home what you received and what you gifted. So Allison Wingate Mills. She is also a friend of the show. Yeah, she made some pretty original <laughs> gifts like this chicken, complete with a chick and egg that literally hatches from the chicken. She made this for one of her co-workers. Yeah. She also made this beautiful nativity garland for her fireplace. Wasn't that beautiful? And the chicken is just so hysterical. So Look funny. Look at that. It hatches from the chicken. I know somebody who could use one of those. The one of those chickens. So okay. I'll have to connect with Allison. Maybe okay. she can teach me. Maybe she get in the new year. Yeah. Well, Kathy Zeltner, she crocheted. You saw this before the break. A pokeball, goodies for her granddaughter. She made a water bottle holder, a messenger bag, a chapstick holder, drawstring pouch, hat, and scarf. Look at all of that. She also made some for her doll. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yes, so her granddaughter there has definitely got a one-of-a-kind, unique, and heartfelt gift. Yes, and very popular. Yes. So our next one is coming in from Julie, and she made Indy the horse for her Aww. granddaughter who loves horses. Absolutely beautiful. She made this beautiful Christmas th uh, tree throw for her daughter-in-law. Beautiful, yeah. Yes, plus a little something for herself. So these are the mitten garland, and she's decided, oh, it's so cute. I gotta keep it I'm gonna myself. keep this one for I myself. Flamer, I would have done the same thing. Very cute, Julie. Well, Pat Holes, also a friend of the show here, she delivered these stockings to Florida Ooh. to celebrate her cousin's new twin grandchildren, Reagan and Oliver. They're based on Santa heirloom pattern. Several family Santa stockings she has are over 50 years old. So look at how sweet those are for those new yes. babies. And they'll be able to use them for all the Christmases yes. to come. Yes. And then a couple more uh, for you. This is a uh, Missy. She made these sweet little gnomes. <laughs> and then also Tammy, a lot of you have been busy. She cro crocheted 30 sets of angels to give to Beautiful. families and friends. 
Look, Look how delicate. Beautiful. Very, very pretty. Well, Barbara, she, uh, her mom, received this Advent box. We talked <gasps> oh, about these, right? Cool. So it was filled with yarn, knitting accessories, some candy, other fun things. And she says that she's been having a really good time with all the yarn and all the items making all of those uh, little projects, though. So. Yes. So, so very cool. Neat stuff. Um, we love that uh, you all have shared all of this with yes, us Yes, that you have, you, one, you had a great holiday, mm -hmm. that you got a crafty holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're also able to share your love, your passion. We love that. So thank you everybody for sharing. Of course, if you didn't have your pictures on there, send them to us. Yeah. Um, Amanda, Amanda Faye, anchor reporter, mm -hmm. meteorologist Diane Phillips. We want to see what you got going on. So connect with us online. We want to know.